Halifax. Saurian hominoids, very prolific and intelligent, range from three and one half to four and one half feet tall on the average, with skin colors ranging from gray white to gray brown. They have no souls and are very violent. Most people who are abducted by them will remember nothing about it. Only a few will have fragments of memories of what happened. The greys are logic-based and reportedly operate on base animal survival or predatory instincts, and in most cases are emotionally insensitive to humans. They feed off of human and animal proteins and fluids. They also allegedly feed off the life energy, the vital essence or soul energy of humans, as do other reptilian species. This is why those humans seen working with the greys, implanted and programmed drones, have appeared lifeless and emotionless to the witnesses who observed them. The greys are reportedly extremely deceitful, and although they act on logic to them, it is logical to use extremely complex forms of deception to bring about their goals. They are the most commonly observed alien entities encountered during UFO events. Agarians or Agarians. Agarians, a group of Asiatic or Nordic humans who, sources claim, discovered a vast system of caverns below the region of the Gobi Desert and surrounding areas thousands of years ago and have since established a thriving kingdom within, one which has been interacting with other planetary systems up until current times. Vast cavern systems below Tibet allegedly link the Agarbi systems of Central Asia to Snake World, a multi-leveled cavern system under the southwestern slopes of the Himalayas where the Nagas dwell, according to a new legend. Here a serpent cult of human and reptilian collaborators dwells, one which is said to have had contact with the Nazi Thule society during World War II. Long ago an Asian prince is said to have led several militant followers, warrior monks, into the caves and came in conflict with this serpent cult. Following the conflict the reptilians and collaborating forces were driven out, however in recent centuries they have regained some ground. Alpha Draconians Alpha Draconians reptilian beings who are said to have established colonies in Alpha Draconis. Like all reptilians, these claim to have originated on Terra thousands of years ago, a fact that they used to justify their attempt to retake the Earth for their own. They are apparently a major part of a planned invasion which is eventually turning from covert infiltration mode to overt invasion mode as the window of opportunity. The time span before international human society becomes an interplanetary and interstellar power slowly begins to close. They are attempting to keep the window open by suppressing advanced technology from the masses, which would lead to eventual Terran colonization of other planets by Earth, and an eventual solution to the population, pollution, food and other environmental problems. Being that Terrans have an inbred warrior instinct the Draconians do not want us to attain interstellar capabilities and therefore become a threat to their imperialistic agendas. Altarians. A 
alleged reptilian inhabitants of the Altair stellar system in the constellation Aquila, in collaboration with a smaller Nordic human element and a collaborative Grey and Terran military presence. Headquarters of a collective known as the Corporate, which maintains ties with the Astra and Draconian collectives. Amphibians. Amphibians, similar to the Saurians or Reptiloids, yet being clonoid creatures with reptilian as well as amphibian-like features, and are semi-aquatic in nature. May have once lived on land, yet became more aquatic over the centuries. They have been encountered near swampy regions, rivers, etc., and have been known to attack people without being provoked. It is interesting that some types of greys and reptiloids are believed to be semi-aquatic, having webbed fingers and toes. On Akim, they also referred to the owls, short for elder race or simply as the giants referred to in ancient Hebrew tradition, this race is allegedly tied in with a branch of ancient humans who broke off from mainstream humanity because of their vast size which had developed over the centuries, possibly as a result of a genetic anomaly. They are said to range anywhere from 9 to 11 feet and in some cases even 12 feet in height, although in configuration they are remarkably similar to international humans. They are said to possess a means of molecular condensing and expansion which allows some of their kind to mingle among humans on the surface. They have allegedly been encountered in deep and extensive cavern systems below the western part of North America, as far north as Alaska, as far south as Mexico, and as far east as Texas. They are believed to have interstellar traveling capabilities. Antarctica. Antarctica. This is allegedly a secret area of operations for both human and reptilian beings. It is said by some that area Nazi scientists actually developed disc-shaped aircraft capable of very advanced aerial performance, and that swastikas had been seen on a few aerial discs. They may be piloted by a purebred blonde, blue-eyed Aryan race. There appears to be more than one blonde human society involved in the UFO scenarios, and especially subterranean human societies may have developed blonde hair due to lack of sunlight. There does not seem to be anything more than a peripheral connection between the Antarcticans, the Telosian and the Pleiadian blondes. The Antarcticans may consist largely of batch consigned purebred blue-eyed, blonde Aryans who became victims of Hitler's obsession to create a super race, and as suggested by Harbinson and others most of these may be controlled through mind manipulation and implants being human drones who are used to keep this hidden society functioning. A massive joint humanoid reptiloid underground system called the New Berlin is said to lie below the mountains of Neuschwabenland, Antarctica. It is said by some sources that this joint human alien force has spread terror through the sector of the galaxy, conquering and committing untold atrocities against the peaceful inhabitants of other worlds. The famous abductee Barney Hill who along with his wife Betty was abducted by Zeta Reticulum and Grays in 1961, stated under regress of hypnosis that he had encountered an evil-eyed German Nazi working with the Grays on board the craft. It is claimed that the original treaty with the Greys was established by the Bavarian Thule and Illuminati societies as early as 1933, and this collaboration was brought into America via the CIA, which was established with the help of American Nazi Fifth Column agents as WEPO, as European Nazis who were brought into America through Project Paperclip and other operations. Atlans. Etlans, these are humans, usually described as being benevolent by comparison to other groups, who are said to inhabit vast and complex cavern cities beneath southern Brazil and surrounding regions. The term Atlantean or Etlan in reference to these races has been placed upon them because of the fact that these cavern networks along the east coast of Brazil were reportedly once a part of the Antediluvian Atlantean Empire. 
the present inhabitants of no direct genetic relation to the ancient Atlantean society which is said to have controlled these cavern systems several millennia ago, but are referred to as Atlanteans simply because they are descendants of those who rediscovered and inhabited the ancient Atlantean installations. As in North America and other continents, both common and gnome-like humans had been encountered here, some of which possessed advanced aerial or disk technology. The Telosians claimed to have some connections with South America, especially the Mato Grosso region where a sister city named Posa exists in a large cavern system underground. Bernarians Inhabitants of the Bernard star system. Although not much has been written about them, it seems that human beings at least in part control the star system, along with the orange. Whether the Saurians have any influence or not is uncertain, however some sources indicate a possible collaboration similar to that within our own soul system. Boodians. Reptilians, from the Buddhist system. These, and reptilian entities from the Draconish system were allegedly involved with the dull scenario, as well as the infiltration, implantation control of human society, on Earth in anticipation, of their planned takeover, at some point in the future. Burrowers Another mutation of the Saurian or Serpent race, that is capable of burrowing through the Earth possibly quadrupedal as well as bipedal, these have been known to use their natural boring abilities to create artificial tunnels like moles, or even spontaneously produced cavens. The latter has allegedly been used in attempts to entrap or kill unsuspecting intruders into the underground domains. These may possess a highly developed biosensing system. Sessions, or Tau Sessions, Tau Sessions, a human race of Mediterranean or South American appearing, tan-skinned humans. Very similar to Caucasian humans on Terra except for slight differences, slightly pointed ears, higher physical density for their size, slightly broader nose, 5'5 five, five tall on average, and often wear short Roman or crew style haircuts. Tau Chetty and Epsilon Eridani are said to be a major convergence of exterior and human activity, and are said to be in alliance with the Pleiadians who in turn, according to contactees, have federated alliances with the Vegans, the Amites, and others. The Session Alliance with the Pleiadians and other societies, who have been victimized by the Great Predators is based on the desire to establish a common defense against their reptilian nemesis. Chameleon Chameleon, reptilians genetically bred to enable themselves to appear human. Also less humanoid appearing reptiloids who use a form of technosis, molecular shape shifting and or laser holograms to produce an outward human appearance. Reports of these have surfaced from underground joint operational facilities near Dulce, New Mexico, Dugway, Utah, Groom Lake, Nevada, Deep Springs, California, and Fort Lewis, Washington and elsewhere. They are reportedly involved in some type of infiltrate agenda. These infiltrators can appear remarkably human outwardly. However, at the same time retaining reptilian or neosaurian internal organs. Often described as appearing bulge-eyed with scaly, hairless skin behind their disguise. One report alleged that the chameleon may utilize artificial lenses to conceal slip pupilled iris. Some claim they are genetically bred mercenaries who are part of an advanced guard of a planned silent invasion takeover of human society. Draco Borgs Draco Borgs, cybernetic forms controlled by reptilian entities. These would also include those forms which are animated by fallen supernatural or paraphysical entities, whether of grey, human-like, mechanical or other configuration. There are 
are some who suggest that human appearing infiltrators of this type may exist in our society, and that certain characteristics might give them away, that is the eyes, a slightly sulfur smell, unrefined features such as no fingerprints or ears or other body parts which seem to have a slight artificial appearance. Cybernetic forms controlled by human entities or humans who have been implanted or surgically altered to such an extent that they have become cybernetic in nature, yet still retaining the soul me.